Welcome to Shanghai, the eighth largest city in the world and the emerging mecca for China's cosmetic surgery industry. Chinese women are going completely gaga about fixing up their face, fixing up their breasts, fixing up their legs. I like to get a bigger nose. I like to be taller. I'd feel more confident and perhaps get a better job. It's a multi-billion-dollar industry that has one of China's most renowned hospitals: nipping, tucking, slicing, sucking, injecting, and implanting around the clock. We're getting a chance to uh, take a look at uh, a cosmetic surgery at this hospital, and it's a real treat because they normally don't allow journalists or television crews to uh, to film this. Shanghai's Ninth People's Hospital has 16 operating theaters for its plastic surgery department alone, which handle tens of thousands of operations a year. How many surgeries do you do here at the hospital? Usually five to ten cases. The hospital receives hundreds of calls each day for consultations. Practically every room in this hospital is booked. There are rooms that just go on around the corner, and every room is filled. Sometimes there are patients one, two, three patients to one operating room. As the economy soars, people spend more money and time on their looks. Take your glasses off. Tell me, tell me, tell me exactly what you want them to do. I'll make, make it bigger. Okay. And, I mean, Uh, put it, I mean, here. Okay. Make it, make it um, closer. Okay.、Here. And so you basically want to have bigger, bigger eyes. Bigger eyes. 21-year-old Lulu Zhang, a college student in Shanghai, is here to get a double eyelid surgery, the most popular procedure among women. It involves putting a crease in the eyelids to make the eyes seem rounder and bigger. The procedure can cost as little as $500. Do you feel that by having bigger eyes that you will Look more beautiful. I think so for me. <laughs> It's a very famous hospital. Yes. For others, like 19-year-old Kano, who is also here to get her eyes worked on, it's about investing in the future. By having the surgery, you will, you will have more opportunity. Perhaps a better job. Yes. Maybe a better husband. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you think about these things. Yes. Yeah. In addition to other cosmetic procedures, hundreds of Chinese women are asking doctors to break their legs and insert metal rods, just to gain a couple of inches in height. Western culture has exerted enormous influences on aesthetic standards. The Chinese want bigger eyes, sharper noses, slimmer faces, and want to be taller. And that Western look is hard to escape from here in the city. It's on billboards, on TV screens, in countless fashion magazines and advertisements. The look is so appealing and glamorous. But let's be clear: the overwhelming majority of Chinese people cannot afford this look or these cosmetic procedures. While the rich in China can access the top plastic surgery centers. Cash-strapped patients like Kano have to rely on her parents to help foot the bill. Most of the patients we see are young students just out of high school. With intense competitions for jobs, many of these young people feel good looks will give them that crucial edge in the society. There are about 230 private cosmetic clinics here in Shanghai alone, and the growing popularity of plastic surgery has allowed thousands of low-cost. Unlicensed centers to pop up throughout the country without much government oversight. Meanwhile, China's cosmetic market, the second largest in Asia, is also experiencing a boom. Tiffany Ding markets a line of skincare brands, including whitening products. In our Chinese culture,、uh, women think if they look wider and、uh, more beautiful. You know, many years ago, such pursuits of beauty were seen as meaningless Western culture. Today, as the standard of living rises and a middle class develops, the boom in the plastic surgery and cosmetic industry are yet more examples of how much this once cloistered nation has changed. George Thomas, CBN News, Shanghai.